Hey guys, it's Miss Tone again, and I'm here today to talk to you about something very fun. We're going to talk about honeybees and something called pollination. It's a big word. I wonder if you could say that with me. Pollination. Hmm. When I say that word, can you tell me how many syllables or claps are in the word pollination? Let's practice that together. Pollination. Hmm. One more time. Let's count. Pollination. How many claps were in that word? There were four. There, that's a big, long word, pollination. So um, today we're gonna talk about that by doing a fun experiment with Cheetos. Here's my bag of Cheetos right here. Now, did you know that you maybe could even do this at your house too if you have a bag of Cheetos? So watch carefully and maybe, and ask your mom and dad if you can do it later, maybe they'll let you. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some Cheetos. Here's my Cheetos. The second thing you're gonna need, hold on, let me grab it, is something to pound with. And your mom probably has one of these. These are called rolling pins. The other thing you can use for pounders is your hand if you want to, too. And then you're gonna need some Ziploc bags. So what I've done is I've taken some of these Cheetos, about a handful, I've, and I've put it in this baggie. Took the bag and then I sealed it really well because we're about to start pounding. We want these Cheetos to turn into dust. So it may take a little while, but just pound like that or you can pound like this. And once you've get, gotten it really good and small and teeny tiny like dust, then you're gonna pour it into a bowl, just like this. This is my pollen. And um, so here's the thing, we, I've tried this experiment a couple different times now. And so I wanna tell you that the best way to do this is that you're gonna wanna go get your fingers a little bit wet. So I'm just gonna come over here. Get a little bit wet. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you. Hold on, sorry. I probably should have my bee first. Here he is. So now we're gonna to pretend to be bees. Bees like pollen. And the reason they like, well, the reason they are attracted to flowers is because they're beautiful and they smell good and they like to eat honey. They make honey from their hive, but inside the flower is something very sweet called nectar. So the bees go and they're really hungry. So they go in and they um, start to drink from the flower. Inside the flower, they drink that nectar. But while they're on the flower, there's something in the middle of every, um, of every flower, in the very middle part of it, that um, holds, here he is, he's getting it. Um, you, I want you to like, when you do this, you gotta really get your fingers in there a little bit so that they get nice and covered with the Cheeto dust. Because this is what happens when the bee goes on a, a, go to a flower. Bees have six legs. All insects have six legs and a bee is an insect. His, his six legs are furry. And when he gets on the flower to drink the nectar, he attracts the pollen dust. The pollen dust sticks to the furs on his legs. Look at that. And then when he's finished, he goes to another, fl another flower and does the same thing. And so while he's there drinking some more, he leaves a little bit of pollen behind that falls off his legs. Then he goes to another flower and does the same thing. That's called cross-pollination. When he goes from flower to flower and he goes, then when his belly is nice and full, he goes to the hive because he has a very, well, actually this is a girl, the, only the girls do this, but um, she has a very important job to do. She has to help the hive. She goes to the hive, she feeds the queen, eats a little bit for herself, and then also takes the rest of it and puts it in a honeycomb. And inside of the honeycomb, it will, um, it, she makes honey from it. So after she's finished, guess what she does? She goes back out and has to do an, her job all over again. At nighttime, they take a rest, but they're very busy during the day. So this is called pollination. Look at the results. You can see that I've left a little pollen everywhere I've gone and I still have some more on my fingers. So um, this is so important because, bees are important because they help flowers grow. And here's how they do it. You know those little tiny, those little tiny pieces of pollen that get on its legs? When he spreads it from one flower to the other, it helps those flowers grow, helps them get stronger and bigger. And, um, and you know, the thing that is so cool about that is that, you know, we have an awesome God, a God that loves us so much. He even loves, he even cares about the teeny tiny bees. 
In Luke 12, he says, consider the, the birds and the flowers. I've given them everything they need, and how much more how important are you to, to me than they are? They're so much more important to me than a bird or a flower. I sent my only son, Jesus, to the earth to die for your sins and to be your savior. So you're more important, and if I'm going to do that for you, I'll certainly feed you, and I'll certainly provide for you. And isn't God awesome like that? He has given us everything we need, and he always will. He always loves you, and he'll always protect you. So now that we're finished with this part, let's look over here. And, you know, good, good scientists always write down their results. So I'm going to write down my results, too. If you look over here, I put these words, and here's what they say. The bag of Cheetos represents. Hmm. Okay, so do you remember the bag of Cheetos? We took it and we counted it up. We made that dust. Do you remember what that dust was called? I'm going to wait for you to say it. Pollen. That's right. I'm going to write the word pollen right here because this arrow is here to show you what it represents. It represents pollen. Pollen is spelled P-O-L-L-E-N. How many letters are in that word? One, two, three, four, five, six letters in that one word. Letters, when they're together, make words. The next part says my hand represents. So here's my hand in the picture. What does my hand represent? Do you remember my little fingers and what happened? Those were the bee's legs. So I'm gonna write the bee. My fingers were the bee's legs. And then down here at the bottom, it says, when I touched a flower, what happened? What was that big word that we said at the beginning of our lesson today that was long, had all those syllables in it? It was pollination. Pollination. That's what happened when the bee went from one flower to the other. It's so awesome how science works. God has created everything to work so well together. So when you see a bee, be, don't be scared. Let it do its job and, and let them, because the important part is that they are really helping the environment by doing what they do. And later we're gonna find out even more about bees. I hope you're having an awesome day and um, go outside and have fun today. I love you guys very much. Have a good day. Bye.